Welcome to another DEX tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn the basics of the set and you get to build your first circuit. So, let's first look at how to make connections inside the set. To make connections, you use these connecting wires here. And there are two kinds of connecting wires. There's a male and then there's a female. Let's look at them into more detail. This is a female connecting wire. This is how the female connecting wire looks like. Now, this is how the, fee the male connecting wire looks like. Good. Now, let's look at how you connect the two together. It's actually very simple. And this is how you make almost every connection that you do inside a set. You just gently connect them this way. Like this. You can disconnect and then reconnect it might be hard a bit the first time so just apply a little bit of force if it's not connecting well and this is how you connect to components in the same way you gently connect like this you can disconnect and of course like i said you can connect to any of the headers so like this very gentle again it might be hard the first time so just apply a little bit of force in case it's not going through good now let's look at the battery and the battery holder how do these work so your battery inside the set will have um, uh, some circuit symbols of the dry cell printed on it and um, your set might not come with a dry cell if it was shipped internationally but you can find any AA battery and um, use it now this is how the battery holder looks like. So there is the black wire, which connects to the negative, this spring here, and it's a female. And then you have the red wire, which connects to the positive. This particular battery holder has a female to female connecting wire connected to it. The other one has a male to male connecting wire that is connected to it. Good. Now, let's see how you're going to put a battery inside this battery holder. It's actually quite simple. So let's just remove the rubber off of our dry cells. And then note the positive and the negative of our dry cell. Let's bring it closer here so that we could see. Usually on all dry cells, you can see that there's a positive and negative sign there. And then, as you can tell from the battery holder as well, there's the same thing, negative and positive indicated. So you just put in your dry cell accordingly. Gently slot your battery into your battery holder like this. Again, for the first time, it might be a little bit hard. So just apply a little bit of force and you should be fine. Good. So this is how your battery holder looks like with your battery in it. Let's move on. So you can tell that there's a positive connected to the red wire and a negative connected to the black wire. Let's do the same thing for the other battery holder. Again, we connect the negative part to the spring and then the positive part. Again, positive connected to the red and negative connected to the black. Good. Now let's build our first circuit. In order to do that, we're going to need our buzzer. Now, any circuit converts electrical energy into other forms of energy. This circuit will use only the buzzer and one battery holder. So let's just push this one away for a while. This is a really, really simple circuit, which is just simply going to convert the electrical energy in the battery into sound energy using this buzzer. And note there's a positive part of a buzzer. And then you connect that to the positive side of the battery. Good. Now, if you complete your connection well, then 
you should hear your buzzer sound. Congratulations, you just built your first electrical circuit. Now let's go on and even advance it. That circuit was really simple. Let's add the two dry cells together and see what happens in the circuit. We are going to combine the electrical potentials of these two dry cells. And we do that by connecting the positive to the negative in what is called a series connection. But look, we have an issue here. There are two female to females. How do you do that? How do you connect a female header to another female header? Not a problem. That is why we have the male to male connecting wire. You simply take one of your male to male connecting wires and make your connection. Just like we saw earlier on, we make our connections. Simple. And then we complete our circuit. Now let's observe carefully what happens. And don't forget to connect your positive end of the battery to the positive of the buzzer. Our buzzer is sounding much louder now because we've combined the electric potential of these two dry cells. Thank you very much for watching this video. In the next video, you're going to build your first project. Bye-bye.